First, an affluent part of Cobb County now is seeking to form its own city in a move that is not far removed from what we have seen recently in Buckhead. Yeah, this is an update here. The proposed city of East Cobb was the first bill to get a hearing in this year's legislative session, which began this week. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on what supporters are trying to do and why. The new city proposed for Atlanta's Buckhead community is getting statewide attention, but the proposed city of East Cobb is perhaps as divisive in some of Atlanta's northwest suburbs. There's a county park called East Cobb, named for the well-known community that surrounds it. Now some residents want East Cobb to become a municipality within Cobb County. A city with about 60,000 residents, with its own police department, and a six-member city council. It is not a, another layer of government. It's a different, it is a layer of government providing services that's closer to the people, not another layer on top. East Cobb is an affluent conservative community within a county that has recently flipped to Democrats. The Cobb County Board of Commissioners now has a white minority. Nobody in this hearing mentioned that specifically, but some said the county no longer has East Cobb's interests at heart. The big thing that I have seen and scares me to death is the direction that these commissioners are taking our county. They make no bones and they do state that their goal is to urbanize our suburbs. Yet critics of cityhood say they are suspicious of a new government entity where none exists now. So I ask, what's in this for me other than more taxes? Another question, who is really behind this and what's in it for them? I'm opposed to this because I'm opposed to more government, period. More government means more taxes. I don't really care what the feasibility study says. I think it's flawed. Backers of the city of East Cobb say taxes would not go up. They want to get it passed here at the Capitol so that voters in that area can decide on it perhaps later this year. Doug, thank you.